Hey guys, Scott here, and today I've come with a serious message instead of my usual silly stuff. Um, the, the Dark Souls 3 PvP community is just being overcome by cancerous builds and players, and I of course haven't helped, and I thought, you know, to set things right, I would really like to instruct you guys and show you guys how to make a non-cancerous build and how to be a non-cancerous player overall, and you'll see uh, people just start having a lot more fun, so uh, here's how you do it. Alright, so the first thing you have to do is remove the R1 button from your controller, or on Xbox it would be the RB. Um, now this is kind of hard for me to do, I've grown attached to this button, but it's it's obviously broken and overpowered, so you really shouldn't be relying on this R1 as a crutch, it's cancerous, it's really bad to use, so um, you're not going to be needing that. Next you'll have to look at the approved weapons by the Ministry of Truth. Um, you still got a huge variety, so don't worry about you know having to use the same weapons over and over again. There's still plenty you can use. Um, I decided to go with the Great Wooden Hammer and the Broken Straight Sword, two really underrated gems of weapons, and uh, I thought I'd use those for now. And uh, I just I felt better. I just felt better after using them. So give one of these many a try, and uh, you will definitely have a much better time. I promise. All right. So when you're actually fighting somebody, there are a couple things you need to remember. Um, one is you need to reverse backstab as much as humanly possible. You also need to do only R2s. R2s are really underrated in this game and they're actually really, really good. So you're going to want to use R2s pretty much exclusively. You can occasionally throw in a weapon art there, but just be sure to backstab all over the place and do R2s and, uh, your opponent will be absolutely blown away. Um, they're just not used to fighting this, like, actual honorable stuff, you know, they're just so used to dealing with the fucking cancerous, ridiculous shit that has just plagued the community, so... If you do this many R2s, they're going to be, like, genuinely impressed by you, and they will be, like, they, they, they'll respect you. They'll actually, like, really enjoy playing with you. Um, I noticed when I do, started doing this, I started getting many more bows and, you know, happy waves instead of point downs and claps at the end. So people really, really like this stuff. And if you want to be a spellcaster, um, I know a lot of stuff is cancerous. Pyromancy is cancerous, sorcery is cancerous, miracles are cancerous. But there are a couple of spells you can use that actually uh, will not bother anybody. You can use Way of the White Corona to do three damage on attacks, which is actually really good. Um, that's pretty much all you can use. Um, but if you want to be a caster, you still have this option, so don't worry about that. Now, by far the most important thing you can do to not be a cancerous player is not win. See, the problem is whenever you win, whatever you're using becomes cancerous. Because cancer is, you know, it's dynamic, it's changing, it's, it's multi-form. So if you ever win, whatever weapons or spells or combo or build that you're using becomes cancerous. And eventually if everyone does that, all of the weapons and builds will be taken. So you need to make sure that you lose every single time and people will love you for it. Now eventually when your cancer level gets low enough, it actually gets replaced by the honor stat. And I'm at about six fedoras right now. Once you get that high, people just start letting you win. They love you. You're such a beacon of the community. They actually just let you kill them over and over again. So this is actually the most successful way to win. It's just a bit of a trudge to get to that point. So um, there you go, guys. This is the uh, the definitive how to not be a cancerous player guide. Um, and if you stick with it long enough, you will actually start winning every single time. Um, it just takes a lot of patience. So hopefully... We can make Dark Souls great again, um, but thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, we can hopefully we can make a change. But I don't know, man. It's gonna be tough. All right, take it easy, guys.